students, I am Kanchan Sharma and I am Assistant Professor of Botany in Biani Group of Colleges. And I welcome you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today, we are going to discuss about the topic, the different life cycles which are found in algae. Dear friends, we all know that uh, in uh, algae, there are two type of generations which are found. One is uh, the sporophytic generation and the another is the gametophytic generation. The gametophytic generation is basically the haploid generation in which the gametes are formed which are n in number and uh, in a sporophytic generation the uh, zygote is formed which is diploid in uh, number. So here what we see that in algae, the gametophytic generation and sporophytic generation, they both alternate with each other. Like the gametophytic generation, they uh, form the gametic organs, like sex organs, antheridia, archegonia, and uh, they form the male and female gamete. And these male and female gamete, they fuse, and after fusion, they form zygote. And the zygote uh, eventually give rise to uh, the sporophytic plant. In such a way, uh, this uh, orderly change goes on in the life cycle of the algae. So, these orderly changes are called the life cycle. Here, uh, I, will, uh, I would like to quote about uh, the alternation of generation also. Like in algae, we have seen these are the two uh, generations, gametophytic generation and sporophytic generation and they are uh, getting alternate after each other like uh, the alternation is found here. So, such sequential change in gametophytic generation that is haploid generation and sporophytic generation that is diploid generation, this alternation is called the alternation of generation. So, friends, uh, now uh, we are coming on the core topic of ours uh, that is uh, the different type of uh, life cycles which are found in algae. So, as per Frisch, in uh, 1935, he divided uh, the life cycles in three types. First is haplontic life cycle. As you can guess that haplontic life cycle is more about the haploid phase of uh, the algae. Here the plant is gametophytic, only the uh, zygote, it represents the sporophytic generation or diploid part. Next uh, type of life cycle is a diplontic type of life cycle. The diplontic type of life cycle in which the diploid phase is over masking the haploid phase. Like here, uh, the mo uh, moreover, uh, I mean most of the time the plant will remain in the diploid phase only uh, at the time of gamete formation, it shows the gametophytic generation, fine. Now, we are moving ahead on the third type of life cycle that is diplohaplontic life cycle. Yes, you are guessing it right. Here, the diploid phase as well as haploid phase, both the phases are found. Means in such kind of plants, in such type of life cycle, two type of plants are found. One is sporophytic plant and another is gametophytic plant and they alternate after each other. And the last one type of life cycle is the heteromorphic life cycle. This heteromorphic life cycle is also known as the triphasic life cycle. Triphasic, tri means three and phases of uh, life uh, cycle are found here. Here uh, you can see like gametophytic is found, it is haploid in nature and after gametophytic uh, the plant make gametes, they fuse and they form a different type of plant which, which is known as carposporophyte. This carposporophyte is diploid in nature means it is sporophytic, that is why we are calling it carposporophyte. And the next, uh, after the carposporophyte, it undergoes the mitotic division. It does not go uh, under the reduction division. And after that, it forms uh, the other uh, sporophytic generation, which is known as tetrasporophytic uh, generation. Tetrasporophytic generation forms tetrasporophyte, and tetraspores are formed by the reduction division in it. These tetraspores which are formed after reduction division, obviously they are haploid in nature and these haploid plant, they finally eventually after germination form the gametophytic generation. In such a way, there are three type of uh, phases we can see in the triphasic life cycle. 
first one is gametophytic, second one is spor uh, carposporophytic and third one is the tetrasporophytic. So, this is all about uh, the different type of life cycle found in algae. Now, we will discuss about uh, the uh, means all these generation in detail. So, friends, first of all, we will discuss about the haplobiontic type of life cycle or haplontic type of life cycle. As I earlier asserted you all that uh, in uh, haplobiontic type of life cycle, the plant is moreover the gametophytic and only the zygote part it shows uh, the diploid uh, phase of the uh, life cycle. Here uh, with the help of diagram you can understand like uh, there are two type of uh, plants found in uh, this type of life cycle. One is female gametophytic plant and another is the male gametophytic plant. The female and male gametophytic plant they form uh, male and female gametes. These male and female gamete they undergoes the fusion, this fusion is known as syngamy and after syngamy they form zygote. Only this zygote phase is showing the diploid stage or the sporophytic stage you can say, sporophytic phase which is a diploid phase and uh, after the zygote uh, undergoes the reduction division, the reduction division is basically meiosis and after meiosis the twice and zygote forms haploid gametes and these haploid gametes form the gametophytic plants again. They could be the male gametophytic plants or they could be the female gametophytic plant. So, here in the whole life cycle what we have observed, we have observed that the haploid phase like these are haploid male and female gametophyte, then gametes are haploid and after reduction division the spores which are formed they are also haploid. So, haploid or gametophytic phase is over masking the sporophytic phase which is represented only in the form of zygote formation. So, in such type of life cycle we have seen that a haploid phase is over masking the diploid phase and diploid phase is just being shown in uh, the form of zygote formation. Such type of uh, life cycle have two type of species like two type of species are found in gametophytic uh, in uh, the haplontic type of life cycle. So, friends we are discussing about the two type of species which are found in the haplontic type of life cycle. The first one is the homothallic species example is Udogonium and other one is the heterothallic species there are two example I have written one is Clymidomonas and another is Eulothrix. What is the difference in these two species of uh, this life cycle, haplobiontic life cycle? Uh, like in homothallic species, in Udogonium, four uh, like uh, spores are formed here after the reduction division, the four uh, spores are formed. These all spores, they form the gametophytic plant, be it the male gametophytic plant, be it the female gametophytic plant, whatsoever the gametophytic plant is, they form that only right and uh, in heterothallic uh, generation like in Clymidomonas and in Eulothrix when the reduction division occur after reduction division these four spore out of them two form the female gametophytic plant and two form the male gametophytic plant. This is the core difference between these two type of uh, species found in haplobiontic type of life cycle. Now, we will move ahead for the diplomatic life cycle. My college taught me to be modern and ethical. My college made me learn what dignity is. My college told me I can. My college told me to be bold and daring. My college imbibed values in me. My college taught me to be strong. My college made me close to mother nature. My college taught me to say no to injustice. My college taught me to say sorry.
Why college taught me to enjoy my life. My college taught me to be independent. My college taught me to be helpful. My college taught me to say thank you. My college made me believe in myself. Now friends we will discuss about the next type of life cycle that is uh, diplomatic type of life cycle uh, here with the names you can understand that uh, the diploid phase will overmask the haploid phase. Here in this type of life cycle the plant is a sporophytic plant that is a diploid plant. In this sporophytic plant there are gametangium, these gametangium form the gametes and this gametangium is also diploid in nature. In this gametangium the reduction division that is meiosis occurs and we all know that after meiosis only haploid uh, things are formed. So in uh, gametangium the meiosis occurs, the reduction division occurs and after the reduction division the haploid gametes are formed which could be the male gamete and the female gamete also. The male and female gamete finally they fuse with each other. This process is called syngamy and after syngamy the zygote is formed. The zygote is again uh, diploid in nature and this uh, diploid zygote now it does not undergoes the meiotic division as we have seen in earlier type of life cycle. It undergoes the meiosis division, uh, it undergoes the mitosis division and after mitosis it forms the sporophytic plant. Like here I have written it, uh, the diploid plant example like in Fuca, Sagesum we can see it. The diploid plant have diploid gametangium, the diploid gametangium undergoes meiosis or reduction division. After meiosis they form gametes, the gametes undergoes the syngamy or fusion, after fusion the zygote is formed and in zygote the meiosis occurs and after meiosis, uh, sorry the mitosis occur and after mitosis the diploid plants are formed that is sporophytic in nature. So here the sporophytic generation is much more in number like here the sporophytic plant I have drawn it as a life cycle, the cycle should be in round uh, structure so I have uh, drawn it in such a way. Sporophytic plant is uh, deployed in nature, here the reduction division occurring in the gametangium and uh, the haploid gametes are forming, then syngamy fusion occurring and zygotes are forming, in zygote the mitosis occur and a sporophytic plant is formed. So here you can see that uh, in life cycle most of the time the diploid phase or sporophytic phase resides, sporophytic phase that is diploid phase and only in the form of gamete the haploid phase or gametic phase is shown. So this is haploid or gametic phase. So here we can see that most of the time it has the prolonged sporophytic generation. So such type of life cycle are known as diplontic or diplobiontic life cycle. So friends that is it uh, in today's video. Please uh, log on to our website gurukpo.com uh, for more such informative videos. Thank you so much. Music